This sea shanty begins now! Oh, Carson City is the best place in Nevada. It's not full of sin like that place with DJs. All right, here we go. Take it away, Captain Morgan. you beautiful citizens of the internet welcome to the only place that ever mattered ever since time began it's tuesday night that means it has got to be go time for night attack that's the moment when god creates the universe or at least we commemorate the fact hi i'm brian brushwood in austin texas joined by my bff and oik is jry justin robert young oh Gosh darn, Brian! I'm 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 very happy that we survived such a uh, such a such a pitched battle last week between two old legends. You know, people say that we sometimes blur the lines. A lot of people think that you actually believe you're Captain Morgan, and I say no. He's like seven percent less of an asshole than that. Yeah. No. Yeah. It, it usually uh, and 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 almost uh, a, a slightly more humble. So uh, you know, there's uh, and I'm slightly less smug than than Admiral Nelson. Than Admiral Nelson. <laughs> you know, here's something that we actually talked about in the after show last week, but uh, more light was shed on it uh, on uh, an email to the jury show today. We discovered last week that there is a third entrant. To the world of Captain Morgan's slightly themed uh, rums. Sure. And it's Lady Bly. Had you ever heard of Lady Bly before? Yeah. In fact, I guess somehow it escaped like like it, uh, a fan brought it to me. I might have I drunk an entire bottle of Lady Bly. I'm not going to lie. Wait, uh, when? Uh, it was pretty fly. Uh, oh, late one night I was... Alone with Lady Bly, and I did uh, stare upon her thigh. Freestyling, huh? <laughs> Dude, oh no, La- Lady Bly is like is like legit ripoff. Look at Lady Bly next to Captain Morgan. Lady Bly is pissing on her t- huh? as she sighs. Uh, given the lawsuit against uh, Admiral right, Nelson. So here's what here's what I found out. Number one, I was not uh, crazy. It was not the Rumdella effect. I do remember <laughs> Admiral Nelson <laughs> from either high school or college. Uh, what the problem was in that story, and this uh, this guy emailed me and traced back the entire history of Admiral Nelson. Uh, it was sold to a uh, a, a, a distiller Canadian, called yeah called Luxco, and then. That sold it. They sold Admiral Nelson to Haven Hill, which is who got the uh, the, the the lawsuit brought against them. But go ahead and take a look at that Lady Bly site and see who distributes Lady Bly is Luxco as well. They're like entire business. Let's see. Uh, a, I mean, I mean, I, uh, that's the thing. Produced like- by Luxco Inc., St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, they, their so, entire business is I'm gonna rip off Captain Morgan as far as the law will legally allow. I, I I'm gonna say it's not even ripping off. It's just like 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 a, a spiced rum comes from the Caribbean trade of illegal spirits, and that means pirate. And so if you do a nautically thing, things you're not you're not ripping off. Uh, all of a sudden, I realize like at some point, me portraying. Uh, Admiral Nelson means that his ethos has infected me, <laughs> and so that that's on me. I I'm I'm sorry. So now I, you are uh you are you are predisposed to go after it. I yeah. just think that it's time for a lady pirate, you know, in office, and that maybe everybody should get in off. Well, hold on, wow, that was a leap. <laughs> uh, you want to elect Lady Blind? To, 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 okay, yes or no, right now, would you accept Lady Bly to take over the Dripping Strings uh, Public School District? <laughs> 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 
crickets, crickets. I was so, trying to remember oh. what a crickets would be. Oh, I don't, I don't, I, I think the. Also, she has syphilis. Business. And yeah, she won't, she has she syphilis. to render her revolver. But she's proud. Mm. She's syphilis uh, and, and, and got it and, and doesn't have any bones about it. Mm. No. And she's sassy about it. She's and like, doesn't, she doesn't get bones? Oh, she gets boned. <laughs> and I'm not just talking oh, about her. Boy, matey. I, I, I just realized there's no way to complete this bit because all I want to do is mention all the specific establishments in the town that we live in and make it super uncomfortable for Bonnie. Yeah. Uh, so Lady well, Bly, yeah, thumbs up, thumbs good. down. Huh? Well, yeah, it's just appealing to a different demographic. Hmm. So Wait a minute. Hold on. You think that Lady Bly is appealing to women drinkers? Look, no. look at Lady Bly. No. Bon, 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 t- 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 turn around and take a look. That's... I think they're appealing to college boys. Yes. Oh, yeah. totally. Well, okay, would you like our daughters to be Lady Bly? Uh, for Halloween. Penny is playing Hippolyta. Or Hippolyta. 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 Hold on. Time out. Time out. Let's say a new game. New game. <laughs> called... <laughs> Who about. is my daughter playing in a play? <laughs> so far, the clues are Hippolyta and Hippolytus. Uh, Justin, you are first for 10 points. Who is my daughter playing? Uh, uh, is she a Roman senator? <laughs> uh, oh, shit. You, uh, you got it exactly right, Bonnie. Turns out she's playing Hippolyta. Hippolyta. Oh, right. <laughs> the Amazonian queen who They're... possessed a magical girdle that was given to her by her father, Ares, the god of war. Uh, by yeah, the way, for the you. DC comic thank book you. character, which now adorns her, her place, uh, yeah. see Hippolyta, DC Comics. Yeah. Oh uh, my and gosh. the Marvel character, also named Hippolyta. See, yep. this is why we need copyright laws, because no way both can make... Wonderful interpretations of a classic myth. Classic. No, but uh, we were we were going through the grocery store, and then like for some reason, Callie was getting to splurge on a Barbie. She just got a. Anyways, so I let her buy a Barbie, and then Penny comes back with a Barbie too, and it's a Polita. Oh, great! So, so, so I I guarantee you, like in Penny's thirteen year old world. She's just like, what? You're buying a confirmation that women are to be objectified by men? That we are but playthings with books and breasts? Well, I'll show you. We are warrior queens. My four-year-old sister, join me with Hippolyta. She, but she came back and she was just like, look, it's me. And like, seriously, it looks just like her. And like the costume is like... It's exactly like that. Dead on. So, yeah. Anyway, so she's excited. Uh, speaking of which, this, this is actually an actual, uh, a actual natural segue. Um, uh, Penny is playing Hippolyta in uh, what a play? Midsummer's Night's Dream. Midsummer Night's Dream. Mm-hmm. She's going to get married. I'm, I'm going to go see the first of all my daughter's weddings mm-hmm. uh, on Sunday, which means I'll be leaving early from uh, Nerdtacular. But uh, what, what what's your game plan for getting into Nerdtacular? Allegedly the last. Hey, can, can we talk about this? Like, there's no way this is actually the last. I Nerdtacular. think it's the last. Oh, yeah. No, I think uh, uh, I think Scott will do events in, in the future, but not like this. Like, not the one big event of the year, build to it all year. Like, I think you want you want to know what I think Scott wants to do? What we're literally doing to Scott right now. He wants somebody else to throw a con. And for him to do what we're doing is throw a mini con inside that con where we wrap around a live show that we literally do nothing to. So uh, you, th- to, you to think center. you think Scott Johnson of Frog Pants Studios, creator of Nerdtacular, the number one nerd convention that ever takes place at Snowbird, Utah. You think yep. what he wants is to do a little role play swapping where it's like we pretend like it's our con. And he does uh, a subcon. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that we would actually run the con that, that he would do, but but yeah, maybe we should just offer, just be playful and coy, like, hey, like, what do you say? 
We run the con next year. <laughs> You're like, like, yeah, well, don't worry, we'll change the names. It's going to be called FlurbCon, and yeah. <laughs> you can run DerbCon as a subsection of FlurbCon. And he's like, wait, are you telling me that you're running a con? Because if you wanted to do that, you probably should be planning for longer than just now. We're just saying that you can come <laughs> our con. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying we're looking at a long con? <laughs> yeah, our long con <laughs> is to run Flurb Con to support Dong Con. Like, exactly. you know what Both I... But not which... Scott Johnson attends as an honored guest. Yes. No Donkey Kong, though. No, <laughs> no Donkey Kong or Dong Kong. <laughs> Not allowed. That's that's a violation. Does anybody of- run? Okay, hold on, real quick, real quick. Uh, over under, place your bets right now. You can give odds, whatever you want. Has somebody run an actual donkey convention and called it Donkey Con? Oh boy, because I that sounds I like feel a dangerous like... thing to search on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I found the answer. Go, 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 go. Lock your lock your answer in, Justin. Uh, I'm going to say no. There has not been a donkey okay. on. Okay, number and two. Sh- number two, is there a boating convention called Docking Con? There's definitely not a boating convention. <laughs> it's not a called. boating convention is what <laughs> Docking Con is. All right, Bonnie, Bonnie. By the way, did you know that I got a call on, on the Friday hype train the, we, or the the same week that we talked about docking, and it was a gay a, a guy who's in a, a gay relationship in Atlanta who was like, yeah, me and my husband just kept talking about uh, why you knew so much about docking. <laughs> <laughs> even know so much about docking except for like all the stuff that you and Bryce were talking about. And, and, and I would assume your response was, what? what, what be, because I'm a conscientious member of a progressive community? God, why, why, why are you questioning me about how much uh, how much do you know about docking? No, I said, next time you can take some of my terms. <laughs> <laughs> I've already forgotten. Oh my god! Docking was sticking your wiener in another yeah. man's foreskin oh, and that's docking. Right. Okay. I don't. Yeah. Know, I don't know if Bonnie ever got to the punchline of that bit. Yeah, <laughs> I no. know. We talked but, uh, all around it. I mean, it was like a thirty minutes of yeah. Anyways, well, now I remember. Uh, it was just thirty but, minute docking session. All right. So yes or no on don- Donkey no, Con or believe, Docking Con? I believe people are really lame and they like. St- to say like let's talk about uh, I, lo- I love the fact that Bonnie's <laughs> answer is no comma with judgment against the human race <laughs> wait no I didn't it wasn't it, no it was, actually, it was... when you look at when you look at the closed captions uh, uh, that's it what was... it says it has that stage note in it with contempt for the human <laughs> yes. race it's yes with contempt for yeah no yeah. okay fact, All right, wait next, so you, fact, you, you think it I'm does saying, exist I'm saying this yeah no yeah do that what is that no all right bonnie it's says yes. no price yes. uh well i have to well, you have the answer because I, I okay well then i'm gonna say that <laughs> both of those are crap i made up and there's no way they exist okay justin uh no no uh okay so donkey con does exist it is a german convention what <laughs> Uh, based on Japanese culture. What? I thought for sure it was a democratic convention in Germany. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so doc- these are these are Germans who love the Japanese. Yeah, it's like video games and anime and shit. I um, mean, when when did that <laughs> combo go well? <laughs> <laughs> Last time the Germans and Japanese got together. Whoa. I mean, why don't they? Why don't? Why don't they meet at a Saburo? A little on the nose. <laughs> oh, I have to apologize now. It's Swedish. It's not German. Whatever. The Google Translate was wrong. And then Docking Con does not exist. I got a bunch of incorrect. All right. Google so results so, so we'll Phillips. call it. We'll call it Docking Con. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Get ready for the future of Nerdtacular. It's gonna be called. Docking con. It's a sci-fi. How many, year, how many years shit. have we uh, have we gone to Nertacular, Brian? This is this is like uh, fourth year, third year. Uh, well, I think it was five years ago we went for the first time, and uh, we took the last year off because uh, going backwards, last year there was none. The year before that, we were in the big room, and you did did your first one man show. The year before that, we were in the small room, and I talked about turd on a paper plate. 
uh, because oh, I was hey. talking about stuff during the uh, uh, the TV show, and then I think we went one year before that. Oh, the, the year before that was when we recorded Night Attack Live. Oh yeah, was oh, that yeah, our? Those... But that wasn't our first year, was yep. it? We did yep. we, we did, it, we did yeah. Night Attack Live in our first year. We did, we did, because we 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 used to have heart and soul and baller instincts, and we weren't afraid to take on the world. Now we're cowardly old men with facial hair. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there is that. Funny how life uh, sneaks up on you, and then the wolves are constantly banging at your door, <laughs> waiting to tear you down into All right, oblivion. Don't, don't call my what? daughters wolves. Jesus. What? No. What? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's too close to home. My actual four-year-old. I, I really, Bryce, Bryce, I just want you to know that in the perfect world, you just went, oh. <laughs> also, by the way. I'll like, take that note. I appreciate the note. I will take it. Now, so, right so now. like, I'm just, just saying, now. Next time, next time we come in with anything wolf-related, <laughs> I just need you to go, oh. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> Why are you President Trump? Why are you there? Nah. <laughs> no, this is. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I this saw is the one okay hand. Sign. This is one okay. hand. It's close. Um, by the way, you're in the middle of talking about wolves. I'm comparing you to my daughters, and I look in the in my my uh, monitor, and I notice this uh, what, little you got sticker. On your sleeve? Yeah. I thought you left it on there on purpose. Uh, no. Uh, you should totally put that on your stickers. What, what is it a sticker of? I don't, I don't know, oh. but my daughter it's put it on flower. very. Oh, it's like a flower. It's I know, like a but she, flower. she explained Bloods. it was something not a flower. She was just like, this is a plus six ward against alchemy. Oh, if, anyone, if any mage tries to turn you the iron in your veins to blood, it, it won't work. She did the iron in your face. <laughs> I mean, to gold, Wait, to gold, amazing. whatever. It, and then she matter. danced out like a little fairy. It was adorable. Mm. Well, let's not be offensive. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll give you a pass on that. <laughs> Uh, uh, wait, I, I have a suggestion. What? Can oh. we move Nerdtacular to a new location? I'd love to see it in a town that never sees nerds and, like, just invade a We town. find the squarest like, town in America. And, and we can just, I, I think we could talk we could, about wait, it. We'll name the convention the, the Unwelcome Pests. <laughs> 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 and then we'll all show up. We have to, Hi, it, it's preempted by a reality show, America's Got Nerds. <laughs> yeah. It's just oh. called Gangway, shitbags. Uh, the nerds are here, and we tear up the town and start smashing uh, mailboxes and <laughs> cutting uh, tires uh, and everything. People are like, man, this is what they showed on the TV. Real quick, actually, uh, I don't think I'm gossiping out of school, but I feel like this would be interesting to everybody. Um, is your friend of mine, Vinny Grasso, who appeared on Penn and Teller's Fool Us? Oh, yeah. Uh, he is on America's Got Talent, and I believe his segment shoots tomorrow or, or airs tomorrow. And uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what he's doing. I know when he did Penn and Teller's Fool Us, he got full on butt ass naked. What? He, oh yeah, yeah. No, I think that's his. That's his. That's his gimmick. Which, it's which, by like, the way, look at, look at my dick. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. Okay, there, there's some line between me trying to help my friend Vinny and me talking out of school about stuff Vinny told me, and I don't know which line this appears on. And they, they are, uh, they are a little finicky about yeah, what, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, what gets you know. said and what doesn't get. Oh said. no, no, no! This has nothing to do with the show. Uh, this oh, has to then, do with just Vinny. personal confidence as a relationship between two adult men. Yes, Got, and okay. in All that, right. Vinny talked to me. Professional magician Vinny Grasso, who's about to enjoy the high point of his professional career, <laughs> appearing on broadcast television what do you have to say about him let's talk about his butthole uh, all right all right any cross those butthole everybody uh, woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> i love okay Why by the he... way this is priming this is grooming he's he's he's, he's grooming you <laughs> to look <laughs> to, to subvert <laughs> god damn it <laughs> this, and then, tell your rumors. Tell your gossip. It's not rumors. He yeah. flat out told me that he met a girlfriend mm -hmm. while she lasered his butthole. Because he had his whole body lasered. Oh. He is smooth. 
Jeez. Whoa. That's commitment. So, well, he Hold probably on. Let me, only let me just wanted keep, to. I, I'm he stroke, probably, uh, audio listeners. This is I'm my stroking theory. my fantasy smooth body. Yeah, this is my theory: is that he just went in for a small section of his body to be like you know lasered, and then he fell in love, and then he went and got his whole body done so he can. Oh, spend time you with think her. it's like a romantic comedy? Like, yeah. like you know, uh, like it starts out with like, well, I'm Greg's doctor. Greg's a character in this movie. Greg, <laughs> you really need to get your hair lasered, but only one hair, and then he meets the girl of his dreams and he turns into this like totally hairless no eyebrows creature like for her affection and then she's like but I like hairy men they're an O. Henry novel <laughs> <laughs> he keeps uh, her in, in work <laughs> But she, but it, it's, it's he goes home every night and rubs Rogaine all over his body. Uh, <laughs> oh, she pays for the Rogaine. Back, it looks as if there's some kind of hair growing, and then but the the Rogaine stops working, so he starts just like like rubbing uh, honey on him and just dumping dog hair, and he's like, "Oops, sorry, mm. looks like it attracts honey now." That classic Shakespearean Ouroboros. Okay. Of- oh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, for the record, I just realized, like, I very likely have just crossed a very hard and fast boundary with my friendship with Vinny Grosso. So what I'm ju- would be what would be embarrassing about telling the world <laughs> Vinny Grosso had his asshole lasered for hair? I mean, he had his whole. Bu- I mean, he never said that. He said he said I had yeah. everything lasered, but then he did that thing where his eyes got a little bit wider than usual. He was like everything. <laughs> Uh, and then, hey, so, so wait, hold on. Did he point to his butt? <laughs> no, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming that your butt is part of everything. That's the title of the show. Oh. I mean, not the whole <laughs> body, body with the same. <laughs> so. I mean, when normally when people are saying everything, they mean the swimsuit area. Well, yeah, I, I but but it, unequivocally, but, okay, yes. Okay. Tell me in this conversation, I had everything lasered. Everything? Everything. Mm-hmm. Everything. Oops, uh, no, you're right. You're then, right. On, on, on the second everything, you start to assume, like, okay. Because I would say, I would include the first everything to be the butt, but not maybe, like, the butthole. Okay, why would you preserve the hair around your butthole? <laughs> 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 if you're going to lace your, your butt, why would need you need to why, have it? What? Like you don't need to have it taken away. If you are doing a cosmetic, if you're, if he's appearing with his butt on okay, stage, right. how oh, often is he? There, okay, okay, there's a, right, there's an right. event horizon. No, no, time out, time out, time out. Explain to me. <laughs> explain to me okay. the event list of horizon. people. I mean, come on. Guys. <laughs> okay, explain to me the number of people who you want, who you're intimate enough with that you want them to know that you lasered your butt but not so intimate that you don't want them to assume that you also lasered your butthole. No, I'm like, all right, listen, I'm not looking at this from the PR director's perspective <laughs> and whether or not it's lasered or not. I'm just saying that not being familiar with <laughs> the process of, of lasering hair off your body, I don't know if there's any element where it's like, eh, no one will ever see it. You know, it's like it's like when you when you remodel your house and you're like, do we really need to remodel the closet? No, not really. Okay, but the okay, difference but- is in this case, the 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 foreman is there with the whole team and he's to the last room in your house and he's like, "Well, this is the most private room in your house. We're all here. We got the tile, we got the beige, we got the spackle, we got the paint. You want us to do this last two feet?" And you're like, "Oh no, nobody ever looks there." What what is the point we're trying to make here again? My point is, vote for Vinny Grosso. Vinny Grosso had a butthole <laughs> lasered, and Brian doesn't want anybody to know that he just told the world that Vinny Grosso got his asshole lasered. All right, first of all, first of all, I suspect, I suspect, I do not know. I do not this know. Not, all okay. I know is that Vinny is a good friend of me. He's a good here friend of go. the show. Quote, quote. I don't know if Vinny Grosso got his <laughs> butthole know. lasered. If I Olivia Pope was here, this room would be set on fire. We, there's no saving this. 
All I'm saying is Vinny is a genuinely funny, talented magician, yes. and he deserves your vote. Also, separately from that, he said he got everything lasered. I don't know what everything means. I assume it means his butthole. By the way, if you want to laser your butthole, head on over to <laughs> patreon.com slash night attack. And oh, for... Oh. <laughs> For every one dollar pledge we get, we'll make sure to shout out your laser butthole right here live on the air. Uh, again, that's Patreon. I'll tell you what, can we open attack. phone lines? Has anybody listening to us right now had their butthole lasered? Oh, lasered? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, if you've had your butthole lasered or if you've gotten close to it, shit, I did talk about on the air me epilating my butthole. That's right, you did. I do. Yeah. I do. Decide. With my mom's epilady. I remember that a lot. Oh, oh, yes. No, we definitely talked yeah, about no, that. Yeah, no. My mom, mom still doesn't know. We talked about a lot of fucked up shit on this yeah. show. Man. No, was, we talked. That was the Groot episode, right? Yeah. I mean, it was. <laughs> What's funny? You just Bonnie's described eyes, it was. <laughs> Bonnie's eyes were just like, the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking And I say the word Groot, and she's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, by the way, uh, uh, here's something that is also a no-brainer. Heading on over to patreon.com slash night attack. That is where you can support this very show. So many benefits, including getting early access to the pre-show and the post-show yeah. before anybody else. And, of course, if you uh, change your Patreon donation within the week, then you become a part of... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of Man, it's really weird because our latest Patreon comes just one minute before the show, and I assume he was in the middle of lasering a butthole. And in fact, it was a near thing because... Yeah, he was in the middle of taking out the last hair, and the nurse kicked in the door. And he says, Hey, boss. <laughs> Night attack's on. I got to give my money. <laughs> yeah, he said, Do you still want to give that pledge? And he says, You're darn right. I mean, no, You're he darn says, Tootin'. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Bonnie. All right, that's that's good. That's a good one. No, that's a good one, Bonnie. He darn says tootin'. he says no, you're darn that's, tootin'. That's another great joke. Everyone should tweet to Vinny Gross. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, save your powder. I'm serious. Powder. Sorry. 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 Save save it. Uh, uh, direct it only at uh, America's Got Talent because he yeah. deserves all the success in the planet. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but meanwhile, I just want to give a thank you to Corey Mills. Corey Mills. Okay, look, you're not supposed to do an impression of the guy's butthole who is in the middle of lasering. While it's lasering. Uh, yeah. Well, hey, but. Uh, Corey Mills' butthole. <laughs> no, I, I, you're the butthole I'm working on. I, Knock it off, Corey Mills! Thank you very much, Corey Mills. You're the best. Thank you. <laughs> also, if you uh, we haven't we haven't reminded people if you are a patron on Patreon, uh, you get a special Discord role on our Discord nightattack.tv slash Discord, uh, and you get access to the Diamond Lounge. Uh, usually, when I have new stuff I'm working on, I t I post about it there so people can get the inside scoop on stuff that's coming up, a little behind the scenes stuff. They get access. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Right on. Uh, Hell yeah. By the way, I, I've had so much fun in, in the Discord. I've been lurking a lot lately, and, and this week I, I jumped in a little bit more. It has always happened, man. I love it. Yeah. Hey, so uh, talking about parts of the bodies from which other things spring. Is this the body horror episode of Night Attack? A mm. little bit. A little bit. I, I, I've got a tale to tell. <clears throat> it begins, and, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to... 
none of this is planned. Justin, Bonnie, Bryce, none of them know the story I'm about to tell. But uh, Bryce, I, I want you to do my best, uh, to do your best. Sure. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, <laughs> God damn it. Go back. Go back. So There's I'm a send movie? a link to a movie or a Photoshop <laughs> screenshot of the movie, but Mohawk. No, this is Bone Tomahawk. <laughs> 2015. Wow, that's pretty crazy. I didn't know that that was called Butt Mohawk. I guess in in Japan it was called Bone Tomahawk. You get yeah, Kurt Russell in it. Here you in know. America, it's called Butt Mohawk. <laughs> it's about somebody who wanted everything lasered except for the edge of tomorrow. <laughs> Scambling Jeez. man says, "Do your duty." <laughs> the edge of tomorrow is a pretty good name. Edge of tomorrow is a good name for the. That's a good hairstyle. You're bald everywhere except for the edge of tomorrow. So you're eating these wings. And you're like, oh, I wouldn't want to be the edge of tomorrow. <laughs> Jesus, this is an incredibly impractical ha- body hairstyle choice. <laughs> hey man, it's Bonnie's <laughs> favorite. True. What? You did it, Bonnie. What good did job. I say? <laughs> How am I going to do Everybody, that? big round of applause. Bonnie Woo! did it. All right. No! It's Justin throwing Bonnie You invented the, the edge of tomorrow, Bonnie. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> so, uh... Uh, hey, stop me if you heard this before or are yeah. a subscriber at Instagram.com slash ScamSchoolBrian, but um, I chopped up my hand by shoving it in the Cuisinart um, the other day, the other day being Christmas Eve 2016. Yeah, I was going to say, wait a minute, you did something else we, stupid to your hand? Like, well, okay, uh, uh, okay, Th- this this is called the, the Night Attack Brian Hand Injury Corner Hour. Wait, it's a lifetime of oh, it. Wait, you had a plastic surgery. What do you mean? Like, you had an operation for appearance. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. I see what you're saying. Oh. You, you want me to talk about the butt mohawk? <laughs> <laughs> Just in, in the South, in the South, but it's called mohawk. the Kurt Russell. Talk about the Kurt mohawk. Russell. <laughs> So, uh, okay. so you hurt your hand. You got a drone chopping it up the other day. Yeah, cur- <laughs> the the other day, six months ago. Um, and uh, the advice they give you for the scars is that you need to um, uh, massage everything constantly. Right, the more flexible everything is, the the better the scars heal. Uh, uh, so I sent to you uh, the results after six months. And on Instagram, I've pointed out a bunch of stuff. If you look at my hand uh, nowadays. It looks you, fine. It's maybe a little dry, what, a little yeah, crackly, maybe. You, but. you can see the dry, crackly parts are are from me rubbing the hand constantly for six months straight, right? Sure. But you'll yeah. notice there's like the knuckle appears to be like off center right there, oh, right? Sure, because you've got the finger coming in this way, but then there's like the bump looks off to the right here a little. Correct. Bit. And Justin, like this is all the way back to uh, when we were doing the VR stuff, Justin, uh, oh, and yeah, that was. Yeah. That was that was shortly after everything. You you watched me like massaging, and I told you like right oh, yeah. before a shoot, I, I I pulled really hard, and I felt something tear. And you're like, dude, you you got to go see a doctor. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, I don't know, maybe. And then I talked to a doctor, and a doctor was like, no, no, no. If you felt something tear, you were breaking up the tissue of the scar and all that stuff, right? <clears throat> yeah. And so six months down the road, I'm constantly rubbing everything. Um, uh, I don't know. You can't even see it probably, uh, uh, on my thumb is it's, it's just a little bit kind of roughed up. That's fine. Like, I don't mind there being a cosmetic bit of, bit of scarring on there. That'll go away over, uh, uh, over time. Wait yeah, for it. Wait for like it. Sure. Yeah, I, 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 it's what? very if hard to tell. You can us. tell it from that image. Like, okay. Yeah. I guess I can see a little. Yeah. Bit. So it looks you, a little wider see, than it probably should yeah, be. Right? <clears> sure. But the thing that bummed me out is as I was massaging the knuckle, it seemed like all the scar tissue consolidated to one place. Like I was doing a good job of breaking everything up, but everything sort of consolidated to one nodule. And and I would, you know, I'd sit there and I'd pinch the nodule and I'd, and I'd, you could feel it kind of move on the inside. Like um, ima- imagine like a chunk of plastic and you're, you're, you're squishing it and it sort of retains that shape for a while, but then overnight it, it, it goes back to being just a blob or whatever. Sure. So finally, I was like, dude, I'm a magician. My hands are in front of everyone. And what did it was there was comments on the Modern Rogue where people are like, what's that on your hand? 
And I was just like, okay, people are noticing. There's enough close-ups of my hand. I'm not embarrassed of having scars on my hand. That's fine. I am embarrassed of what looks like a giant wart on my hand, yeah. right? Because it was all in one place. So I go to a doctor <clears throat> and I go to a, a hand specialist and, uh, and, and he's, you know, and, and as you rub it, you can are feel they, Are it. they very expressive? Hand specialists, like, are they just like, oh, hello? Well, this is a great bit for audio listeners, but imagine, imagine me doing wild finger fanning. It's funny you yeah. should mention that because it's like, uh, it's if if um, Marvin the paranoid android uh, could be a doctor, he was the doctor I went to. Oh my god! That's <laughs> he amazing. he walks in and he looks and and of course me being all uh, extrovert, I'm like, hey man, Sweeney, way I was holding you, and then the blades came down and chopped down my hand, but I've been massaging anyway. Feel, look at this, bleep blop, bleep blop, bleep blop, it's rubbing all over there, and it's a nodule. I don't like that, and he just kind of looks at like. Yeah, <laughs> and I was just like, ah, oh, God damn it! And, and, and I was like, I mean, so, also, what did you expect them to do, Brian? Like, oh my God, this is uh, uh, like the horrifying. You're a deformed person. Like, how do you walk down the street? Oh, sweet boy, come in, we'll fix you. Well, or like, what a riveting tale. Where can I pledge money on a weekly basis to learn more about your life? <laughs> Are the, the, the bard of your age spinning such fanciful yarns. Please let me buy you a beer in some capacity. Oh Hooray, Brian! Woo! Come on, everybody, let's all get in here. Hooray, Brian! Oh. This, <laughs> this is way too close Sorry. to my fantasy of how it was going to go. <laughs> and so, when I do a podcast, not a lot of, not a lot of people listen to it, but it's so really funny bad, sometimes. You know. Like like Brian's Brian's greatest sexual fantasy. So it's just me and Bonnie, and then all of a sudden, everyone who ever doubted me files in and apologizes. <laughs> <laughs> and and I hear them; they're all murmuring like, "Oh, oh man, man, she's no, so it's, hot." Oh, it's it's really not hot. like he's gonna he's have sex really with her, job, is man. it? What a good life you live. <laughs> <laughs> so so the and then the not... cameras come in. <laughs> And the and jumbo say, Tron Yay, arrives. Yay, Brian! <laughs> we were wrong. Yay, Brian! So, so suddenly I have pom poms. <laughs> <laughs> so last week, I he was not impressed, and I was like, and I'm like, eh, eh, nothing. And I'm like, well, I'm a magician, and I, uh, this is unsightly, and the camera's on my hands enough that, uh, and he goes, eh, all right, all right, yeah, I can cut it out. Uh, and, and then there's a pause, and he goes. You might lose sensation in your fingers. Well, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I and I and I was like, and I was like, oh, is, is that Correct. likely? <laughs> and I was like, is, is is that likely? Because you know, I have a full range of motion right now, and I'm pretty happy with You're that. To yeah. keep that pointer oh, finger pointing. Yeah, right. and uh, and and he says, uh, he says, uh, eh, you know, I I, I just got to tell you. <laughs> as oh if God. as if he's a member of chat realm calling in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, you got the guy from deadbeat as your doctor <laughs> yeah no, they just say i gotta tell you that don't worry you're yeah. good <laughs> so so i make the appointment for today uh thinking to myself that was today oh no, no no it was a week ago i made the appointment and the appointment was today yes uh, foreshadowing for audio listeners, I have a have wrapped a bandage. bandage around my hand, right? Yeah. So, uh, uh, so I show up today, and it's like, I, and I talk to Bonnie, and I'm like, look, um, I mean, I get like everything works. It's just really unsightly. It, it's messed up. It looks like my knuckle is asymmetrical. I don't like having yeah. two knuckles on my index finger or whatever. And it's like I, I, I just walk down the street and I can hear them talking <laughs> like, hey, like, don't don't stare at two knuckle, honey. Come on. Like, he's just the town freak. He didn't have any. Uh, he was born that way. By the way. What pushed me off the edge was the YouTube comments of saying, what the fuck is wrong with your knuckles, bro? You, it's just so weird because so your history with YouTube, you should know not to make major life decisions based on what they say. Okay, 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 yes. Uh, yes to their judgments 
no to their perception. Their perception was yeah. like it wasn't like somebody said, "Hey man, is it just me or is there a giant fucking crown of thorns around your skull?" <laughs> like like it wasn't I wasn't worried about the judgment on the hair. Uh sure. you know, but but I was worried that that it was a noticeably fucked up thing on my hand, right? Okay. So, uh, all right. So, anyway, I talked to Bonnie, and I think it through, and I think to myself, I would, re- given that my career, whether it's magic, whether it's the modern rogue, will involve my hands being on camera, I would rather have scars and have it look normal than have what looks like a giant, you know, impacted wart misshapen in the middle of my... But you could do, like, the Stephen Colbert thing and be like, oh, no, his left, his right hand is deaf. He can't hear out of his right hand. Uh... Oh shoot! I could have. Or yeah. or or, fingerless motorcycle gloves. Like you just debut a new thing where it's like, yeah, now I'm the guy who wears fingerless motorcycle gloves everywhere. I actually that's my whole thing. I actually was gonna. I talked to Bonnie and got approval on getting a tattoo if it really looked nasty to cover it. Wait, uh, what were you gonna get? Wow, what were... I I don't know. Maybe like a Slimer. butthole with Slimer. a ring Slimer. of hairs around it. Slimer. The event Slimer. Horizon. Slimer. <laughs> the event horizon. Um, so the appointment was today, yeah. and it's like I've steeled myself. I'm like, okay, we're gonna. Did do you this. die? <laughs> Spoiler alert. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I come in. And I show it to the nurse, and I and I do the deedle doddle. I'm like, look, it's 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 clearly like all I wanted. The surgery. Why are you still trying to convince any and everyone in the medical facility that you need the surgery? Because I want to prove that I did a good job of scar management. That I massaged correctly. Like I massaged to the extent of massage. You, You believe that, like. That you're going to walk in and being prepped, not only the doctor, but also the nurse was going to be like, yeah, another one of these vanity freaks. Firing up their hands and then not properly massaging the scar. Yeah, wait, <laughs> doctor, he's did he did the proper massage treatment. Ooh, our judgment is unfounded. Ooh. <laughs> Shockingly close to what I was afraid of. <laughs> So finally, I, I you know, and I demonstrate like, look, it goes bleep blop over the knuckle. It's not right. And so, and they're like, okay, okay, fine. And so she cleans everything up. Uh, she does the the dance of the the triple uh, bactine uh, iodine thing. Yeah. And uh, um uh and 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 again, it's not it, here. Take a look. Th- that's probably the best one. The one you have. To, yeah. Whatever those. So sure. if you look, it's not a big bump, but it's just asymmetrical, and it's I hate set. it and I want it gone. Right. Okay. I mean, yeah, you are zoomed in very close to make it look like something that isn't just it is it looks wart. It looks wartly. I right. think that, Cor- and that's probably correct. Right. And that's what bugged me is that it looked wartly. And by the way, in this picture you can see my skin's all flaked because I've been massaging it constantly and yes, it's all gritty. Yes. You don't need to convince the I was if really I was the nurse, good I'd be about like, scar just, If I was yeah. the nurse, I would be like, if it's dry, that means you're not using enough lotion. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I actually thought about using lotion, and then I was just like, I don't want his hands to slip while he's cutting it. <laughs> and so, so I left it dry. Okay, sure. but, but, okay. so so they lay you all- You know that you're extraordinarily weird, right? I, like, I, like I, you, you do know that people listening to this are like, Brian, <laughs> you're very weird. Yes, uh, no, that's fine, well, that's knew, fine. Agent Brian Victor was... 2204 says, looks like sailor's balls. Oh, uh, you're boy. not wrong. Hmm, okay. You're not wrong. All right. I knew, I knew Brian was no- nervous because he's all like ignoring me all week, and then he, and then he comes in and he just starts talking to me. He just starts talking, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, you're getting that thing done." You're yeah, like, no, that's what I do like, when I'm nervous yeah. is I talk constantly. So, so, so it's it's very clearly just a little Somebody chunk of my scar. It's 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 just some scar tissue that has to be removed. And yes, there's a chance that I could lose finger in my or lose feeling in my fingers. But I would rather have that and suffer in silence than have you know the, this on display weird nodule thing, right? Mm-hmm. So they they set out all the things, and I lay down. Or, uh, I, uh, I recline in the, rec- the the lazy boy that they have, and they they drape everything up. And the doctor comes in, and it's like it's like. And the doctor clearly doesn't remember the last time we saw each other one week ago and says, what is this? <laughs> and she explains, 
He wants you to cut the scar on his index finger. <laughs> this and is I, a very loose conversation to have in front of you. Yes, and uh, to which I immediately interject myself saying like, ha ha, because I'm a magician and it's important that my hands are pretty and this is unsightly. It's not weird. It's you can't not put a, weird. You can't put a layer of irony over your vanity. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and, so, uh, and so he goes, ah, all right, let's do this. And he sits down. And he looks at my hand, and he looks at all the scissors and forceps, and he goes, is there a blade? And then and the nurse goes, oh, yeah, <laughs> and walks over, Yikes. grabs grabs the blade. Uh, and, and, of course, it's all sterilized or whatever. Hands over, and I'm like, oh, that's the tip of a scalpel. That's where they're, 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 they're going to take this and attach it to a scalpel, and that's what it'll use to cut me. So he peels it open, just grabs just the blade. No, no handle, no nothing. No need, like no need when you got these magic fingers. <laughs> exactly. And then, uh, and I've already been numbed, and so I'm sitting there, and uh, and I look away, and I'm like, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. And I, and I I hear him working and working, 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 and then I'm like, are, okay. Do they do they numb you up? Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. They've already numbed me. I'm I'm super numb. I'm as numb as they come. So it's just pressure. You're yeah. not looking at it. Tell me when it's done. But then I, 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 like, they're just gonna be like, yes, but you must suffer for your vanity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is there a way I can get additional pain on this? I'm well, looking for an absolution on this. So, one. so <laughs> it occurs to me that it's like, okay, it's going to happen one way or another, and I'm either going to know because all I'm thinking about is, God damn it, I got everything right on that scar management except for this nodule. This one fucking nodule. I'm going to see this motherfucker as it comes out of my body. You don't own me, nodule. I own you. So I'm like, I'm going to watch. And so I look over, and um, it, it's a tiny incision. It's it's uh, maybe half a centimeter, three quarters of a centimeter long, right? And then uh, and 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 he's got uh, forceps pulling it open, and he's poking around and stuff. And then uh, I start feeling the snipping. He sticks fingers. Uh, he. St- <laughs> I looked ahead of the email. I should have done that. You okay. should have done that. You should have done that. Right. Okay. So uh, it's uh, <laughs> Uh, so there's an insertion, an insertion, and it gets a yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I feel Bryce, one. Bryce, go to yourself in a one shot. Brian, I... keep telling the story. <laughs> so he, he... <laughs> so I feel the forceps spreading open the 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 half centimeter opening that he etched in. <laughs> okay. And I'm feeling the poking around or whatever. And then I feel the the prodding and the grabbing and the moving around. Because he's made it clear he needs to do all this, this stuff. It uh, sounds like a pap smear. Uh, well, okay. Tell me if it <laughs> still sounds it by the time I'm done. <laughs> okay. uh, and so um, – I, I feel the snip, 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 snip. And I'm like, okay, he's cutting it out. If you're ever going to look this thing in the eye, you got to look at it now. So I look over, and sure enough, it's it's a little um, uh, hand vagina. Uh, it's, it's, it's like my flesh split open, and um, uh, the forceps have grabbed something. <laughs> you're like, I've always yeah. wanted a hand vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, I turn with my left fist, and I say, not like this, God. Not like this. Like, warehouse, don't fail me now. It's one stop stopping. So, so he's grabbing it, and I feel the snip, 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 snip. And then I look, and then, uh, and I'm like, man, that's much bigger than I thought it was. And all I can think of is like that, you know, that that what felt like an all too big lump, uh, uh, you know, is gonna be gone. And I'm so excited, and I feel him snip, 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 and pull. And then, uh, and then I hear him under his breath uh, say. Yeah, I don't think this is scar tissue. Oh, wait. And then I hear the nurse say, yeah, I know. I got the specimen jar. Oh! <laughs> and then, uh, and, I'm, and meanwhile, I'm just like, don't mind me. Cool as a cucumber. Just Joe Bro sitting over here, overhearing you guys. If and you've uh, got a bump on your hand next to a scar... What on earth can be in there? What is so, it? So he he he's he's snip snipping and pull pulling and fine and I look over 
and I kid you not, like like uh, uh, scroll back and let the world see that that bump there. That bump right there in centimeters. How big do you think that nodule is? Centimeter and a half, maybe. Oh, it's centimeter and a half. Jesus Christ! That's oh, okay. That's the entire. I mean, on the inside. Like, how big do you think the oh, thing is to be removed? I don't know, there? Like a half centimeter. Pretty small. Yes. So, uh, he's tugging and pulling and pulling, and I feel ever so slightly the scissors and the forceps invading deeper and deeper. Like, he's not widening the incision he made. Going further into your hand. But going farther and farther in, and I feel it along my tendon, and I look, and at one point, I swear to God, I, if I could have taken a photo, I would have, and I should have held on to my goddamn camera. Uh, but he's I, working on your right hand, so. Do you remember that scene of the chest burster in the original Alien? Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Human flesh split open. The part, yeah. <clears throat> a bulba-shaped head, an elongated body still on the inside. He is pulling a full inch and in change out of my hand vagina. Uh, well, okay. <clears throat> and and still cutting off the back pieces. Bleep, blop, bloop on there. All right. And then finally. Gets the whole thing out and contracts in and put in a specimen jar. <clears throat> and then I'm like, hey, so uh, if it's not scar tissue, what is it? And he says, when you have an injury, like when a drone chops off your hand uh, because you stuck chops it in. Chops into your hand. Your hand is still whatever, insistent, whatever. Eh, Give or take. I saw Robocop today. Uh <laughs> When that happens, sometimes your body goes into overdrive trying to fix things, and a cyst forms, and it formed in that nodule and ran along my tendon all the way in the back. And then finally, he's like, anyway, peace out, two stitches, you'll be fine. Uh, don't bend your fingers. <laughs> and then he's like, we could do a splint, but I don't know, you seem like, you know, you want to save 40 bucks. <laughs> <And then laughs> I mean... <laughs> Oh, only we're gonna. That's a good read. He's got a good read on you, I think. <laughs> and then, oh and He's so like, he anyway, leaves. I gotta get to my shift to the taco truck on <laughs> six. So you know, I uh, will uh, see you later. Smell you later, dickweed. I'm the doctor. <laughs> He goes, sometimes if you rub a scar too much, you create a cyst. <laughs> <laughs> so he leaves, and the moment he leaves, I don't want to say, hey, I have a podcast. <laughs> so instead, I say, huh, my wife ain't going to believe this. Can I take a picture of it? <laughs> so you, so this, so we do have a photo of this. So you don't. <laughs> This is not in your possession. They kept this. Uh, yes, they kept it, and they're going to test it for things. But so it took me a minute because I saw this, and this scared the shit out of me, (laughs) until I saw how big it was in relation to your thumbnail. Uh, that's not my thumbnail. Uh, that chick's thumbnails are gargantuan. Uh, oh (laughs) no, no, no! (laughs) Wait, trying to talk it up. Um, so okay, dude, take a look at this. That was like an inch and change. Pulled out of my body flesh. Oh my god! It I made looks a, like a. It looks like one of those hot red hot Cheetos. It oh like Jesus rapper. Christ! <laughs> Why no no no? It looks like a half of a red hot Cheeto. No, it's a it's, it's, a, a, it's a flaming hot Cheeto. Yeah. No, no. Boy. Nobody photoshopped the bag for flaming hot Cheetos <laughs> just with no! a bunch of stuff. Nobody do that. Don't Bryce, do that, please don't. You did Ooh. such a favor. I will never eat those again. <laughs> body You're helping body me on shows my diet up dreams. 20 pounds lighter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a podcaster diet. It takes it takes an hour every week, but uh, you get one thing that you can't I eat guess anymore. It is. Yeah, it's that my is flaming a lot hot. wider than I thought it was gonna it's be. Knuckle, like, uh, you, knuckle you, you were describing it as as being very like thin and, and tendrily, and I'm sure it probably came out like that, but but it, it bunched up. Yeah. Well, I, I, I haven't seen my hand you're, since then. You're so pink on the inside. <laughs> God damn it, Bonnie. <laughs> True story. Brian quit the next day. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was a weird, exciting 
thing. And then I got a haircut, and then I was on junk food cinema. So what's what's the recovery time? On? You, st- you got two stitches. Two That's days. Probably... Two days. Two days. Yeah, That's yeah, pretty yeah. fast. Yeah, no, they just threw two stitches on, and they were like, keep your fingers pointed for two days. And then uh, and they, they said, wait two weeks. And, and <laughs> I felt weird being all like, well, you know, last time I removed my own stitches live on the air. Oh, Jesus. No, I didn't say that. Uh, I just said <laughs> last time. I, I wouldn't re- believe it, though. I, I, you, know, I'm, you know, I know you're a doctor and all, but I've taken out stitches before. <laughs> I, I, I did tell him that I removed my previous stitches, and he was you just guys, like, yeah, whatever. You guys, <laughs> you- based, on, based, on, based on what you've said with that doctor before, I'm shocked that his professional medical opinion wasn't just doing the jack-off hand gesture. <laughs> <laughs> He was he chill did, as hell, man. I, I would have said, if I was a doctor, I would have said, and how did that work out for you? <laughs> <laughs> like, that might be a left-in stitch. It, it grew a cyst around it. Mm, mm. Could be. Mm. Mm. So, mm-hmm. maybe this pays off, this old stitch thread. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh! Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, and vagina, woo! <laughs> Brian, uh, uh, so you, you're, you're feeling good though. You're feeling uh, uh, good about the decision and good about the surgery. Oh my god! While it was happening, I just like I felt weird going in for what I thought was just a cosmetic issue, and I was like, I should just leave it. It'll probably be fine and go away or whatever. And then instead, I'm like, nope, I'm gonna risk permanent, you know, not being able to feel the tips of my fingers. So that because at least that would be private and not screw up my ability to do the modern rogue and so on. And then uh, as he cut, the more he pulled out, like it was so satisfying. I'm like, yes, yes, this is a big deal, isn't it? Yes. But at some point, there's a tipping point where you're like, no, that's too much of me. That's that's <laughs> not a good thing. You're taking yes. too much out of me. Fortunately, we never reached that point. <laughs> but that was definitely on on my mind. Uh, I can't wait to see how it turns out. I, I, again, I, I don't mind oh, having they're scars. Testing it. Are they testing it to make sure it's yes. definitely a cyst? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, cyst yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm interested yeah. in. I mean, no, that's just. Uh, but meanwhile, see. you have no idea. Like maybe it's gonna flatten out and be super weird and and look like a crater on Mars or something, right? Uh yeah, that would be better than just looking like I had a giant wart on my finger. That was real gross, or on my knuckle, like uh, like because like, a crater, you can say, oh, this is my war scar, the future, yeah, yeah, God, yeah, yeah, the yeah, millennials yeah, yeah. and their drones and shit. <laughs> the, <laughs> the mo- this is that's how exactly I what I'd say. Yeah, yeah, no, say, that's me. I That's got like me. this because I moved to Austin. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro, yeah. LBJ, how many kids did you kill today? Look at my finger. <laughs> Twitter comes like Schwartz. This is the Um, uh, yeah, no, I think I'm happy. Question mark. Uh, come ask me in a few days <laughs> at Nerdtacular. Speaking of right the Nerdtacular schedule, yeah. we're yeah. gonna do a live night attack on Friday, I believe. Oh yeah. Which if, means next Tuesday yeah. will be a rebroadcast of that episode, followed by a live not attack. The first time we've had a not attack. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it Friday or Saturday? Whatever day it is, <laughs> it'll be on twitchtv <laughs> slash Frog Pants. Oh, There's it Tuesday is night. Friday. It is Friday. It's it is on Friday. Friday. Uh, they're on twitch.tv slash frog pants. You can catch that live and then we'll have it again on Tuesday with the not attack and uh, all sorts of good stuff. There's a bunch of people doing a bunch of streams over Nerdtacular. Please check all of that stuff out. I don't know if the uh, resolution will be good enough to see Brian's <laughs> J- JC Calhoun says, I'm a big wimp when it comes to medical stuff, so I've had most of this episode on mute. <laughs> Fairly smart, but here's something that you do want to have your sound up for. Uh, along with Night Attack, I'm going to be doing a new live show that uh, that I've never done before. Uh, it's called OPP, Other People's Pain. What I want you to do is write to me. Could be short, could be long, as long as it is revealing and embarrassing and something that you would never tell anybody to their face. You can email it anonymously to justinrobertyoung at gmail.com. Put OPP in the subject line. The show is this. I uh, organize all the stories. Some of them are long. Some of them are short. I select people from the audience to read your story as if it were their own. And we uh, discuss uh, exactly how they feel putting your story through their mouth. Uh, It should be fun or it's going to be totally garbage. And uh, then we'll do Night Attack afterwards. So I just know if the show totally bombs, we can just make it a funny night. I mean, there's no way 
like, I mean, I, I, to be honest, like if if this were the if you came to me and said, hey, let's abandon our normal structure of night attack and have this be night attack, I'd be like, this would be the best night attack ever. And then and then the mere fact that it's like now that's the night attack pre-show, I'm like, this yeah. is going to be the best night attack ever. There's so, uh, no way no, this gonna fails. Be, it's going to be great. I've read a few of the stories. There is one story in there that uh, is I, – I, I can't even hint around it because it's – you will learn something. I will almost guarantee you that you are going to learn something uh, about – the human body that you did not know before. Okay, look, I told oh. you that was between you and me, and that was pre-show for this episode that we just shot. I just <laughs> yeah. told that so anyway, story. There's this jack off <laughs> who has a weird wart scar, and I, I kept fucking with him online by writing, "Hey, what's with your hands?" <laughs> Next thing you know. <laughs> so okay, can maybe this is a radio tease? Is the theme song? For your new live show, OPP. <laughs> I I think that you can't do anything but. Right? I don't think it could be anything else, right? Yeah, you can't do. I mean, it's it's a pun on on the Naughty by Nature song OPP. The Naughty by Nature song OPP is great. So uh, and it has that iconic kind of intro. So of course, yeah, okay. you got to start the show with OPP. Check that out. So uh, and then, of course, uh, Night Attack. But uh, really, the big news on Friday is that we are launching the Kickstarter for our brand new card game, Action News. Woo. Actually, let me see. Uh, if, if you want to get the links Holy to all that shit. stuff. shit. Is that the packaging? That's what the demo packaging is going out on. Can Holy you shit. So like an, shit. That looks amazing. It's uh, like a it's, neoprene. Yeah. Well, well no, no, no. It, it looks like a static bag, static bag sealed. Yeah. With with uh, the logos, it looks like a fucking Atari cartridge. It's amazing. It's perfect. Yeah. Uh, no, it, it is. It, it's amazing. Guts and Glory did such an amazing job on the design. But uh, actually, here, Ash, can you bring me the uh, the white envelope? So if people want to get on the list early, they can go to actionnewsgame.com. It looks like you guys have a mailing list here. Oh yeah. Go to actionnews.com, sign up for the mailing list, get on that shit. Uh, the Kickstarter launches on Friday. Uh, everybody, everybody. Hey, uh, real, real quick, full oh, disclosure, before before we show off all this stuff, um, uh, uh, preamble. For those of you guys who don't know, here's the way, um, you know, nobody really understands the way crowdfunding works. We're all trying to figure it out. But, but here's one thing we know for sure is that early momentum matters. It matters, right. matters, matters. Because if you it's, get in early, then you can be like – an editor's pick on Kickstarter and Kickstarter, you can be on the Kickstarter mailing list and all this like Kickstarter gold shit. So here's here's what you do is if you suspect that at any time in the next 60 days, you might want to do to contribute to Action News, just pledge right away. Because if this thing's a failure, you will not be on the hook for anything. But if it's a success, you will be the earliest of the earliest two people who got on board. That's right. So please, 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 this Friday, this Friday, this Friday, actionnewsgame.com, kickstarter.com, just look for Action News. Uh, with any luck, the biggest momentum you can get early on will have the biggest impact because everything cascades. Because uh, no blog reports on a middling success. They mm. report on things the that huge, blew up big. in the first things 24 hours. Huge. Yeah. Uh, live oh on gosh. the scene from Action News Network, we've got Justin Robert Young. Justin, how are right. you, buddy? So here's uh, here's the deal, guys. Uh, this is how Action News is played. You got your... Uh, you got your uh, your news card. So one person is the anchor. They assign everybody else at the table a news card. Uh, and so this person's story would be Full House Says Goodbye. Uh, on the back is one sentence. So in this case, it would be uh, America can say goodbye to the Tanner family of Full House. The final episode revolves around young Michelle falling off a horse and suffering from amnesia. Uh, then in the middle of all of you is a bunch of these the action cards, uh, they are all sentence fragments. Uh, so, like, blank is added again, or uh, 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 to the howling delight of an adolescent fan base, uh, preparing to upend decades of tradition, stuff like that. What you do 
is you basically uh, take all the action cards. Everybody's pulling from the same pile uh, to fill out your script. The anchor then goes around the table and uh, points to everybody who reads their stories. The one that pleases the anchor the best gets to be the anchor for the next round. But they then affect the game with these, the Scoops Awards. Uh, that means that they get to pick on one person in the next round. So, for example, this is the Sex Appeal Scoops Award. Uh, you choose one reporter that has to find three places in their stories to wink. So uh, you can force them to do something or say something during uh, their report. But that okay. is action news. Wait, I'm well, so proud of it. Uh, we'll be playing it at Nerdtacular. But uh, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled with it. And, man, I think you guys are going to really love everything about it. Have we – and I, uh, I, I apologize as your co-host for coming up with this idea right now because it might be challenging. But is it possible for us to – create a mythological all-star action news game to be viewed by a, a bunch of people live like not on stage not as as officially part of uh, frog pants oh sure Nerd yeah especially saturday uh oh wait you know you're leaving saturday right or no no, leaving no. Sunday, i'm leaving, leaving early, early sunday, sunday morning early sunday morning yeah no saturday like they flip the whole uh ballroom to be like playing board games all night yeah we can get a crew together we'll play a big fat uh Okay, big so let's, let's start. Get. Okay, number one, everybody get ready because because we we are all going to pull the trigger on Friday. Every single yeah. one of us who is listening to this is going to participate because this is going to be the biggest thing that's ever happened uh, in just Robert Young's life, including when his dad came back from the dead. Uh, the uh, <laughs> but but the second thing that we're going to occupy ourselves between now and that moment is let's start. How many players can play the game? Uh, this is optimized for four players, I believe, the so demo game. So four players. I would like to be one of the four, but that's not up to me. Let's pick a four-player game of this. Mm -hmm. And and you guys you guys create a tournament. You guys figure out who does what. Uh, four people. Uh, uh, like, there's a lot of really talented, really wonderful people, but only four, maybe five. I don't know. Four. Four. Mm -hmm. Let's go for four. Four. Yes, four. I saw. I saw the panic in producer Bryce's eyes. Like, yes, like, four. Jesus four. Christ, Brian, you had it. You just <laughs> fucked it up. Wait, well, this isn't some cyst you're pulling out of your knuckle. For Christ's sake, this usually, is real business. Usually, these are just eye signals I make to myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Let's figure out four people that we can play a very entertaining round with a live studio audience because I I think what you should do, Justin, and again, we have not discussed this. But no. how fun would it be if we got four all-stars and we knew that we were being watched by a live audience and we knew people were recording it and putting together a live thing so that everybody could see how the game is played? That would be uh, that would be absolutely fantastic. And I think that the game would really, really sing under those uh, uh, constraints because it is awesome, especially. And that was one thing that we really learned about Contender was that we didn't really love the, the Contender what we called the press deck uh, where we sent it out to everybody. We really didn't think it was all that good. Like uh, it wasn't as representative uh, of the game as it eventually became. But this is something that we put a lot of time and effort into making sure it was a good experience. It's a short experience. You don't really get a lot, a few rounds or a lot of rounds into it, but we thought of it more as like a video game demo where it's better to just have you play an amazing 15 minutes and then, make you hungry for the rest. Well, and, and, and plus also, I think that's the, um, the niche that you guys, uh, whether intentionally or unintentionally are going to fill is that, um, uh, that social lubricant, that kickoff thing, like ostensibly yeah. everybody's going to get together to play action news, but after 15 to 30 minutes, you know, two or three rounds, you know, all, you know, now we're on to other things. So. Sure. Yeah. I mean, and that's kind of what we've always looked at our, our, our niche as you're right, as as let's just get everybody talking and also let's do. I think where our game succeeds mm -hmm. in, in ways that others don't are that a lot of people don't like improv games. And and I think that's part of what made Cards Against Humanity so successful is that it involved people saying things, but didn't involve people 
extemporaneously coming up with the funniest stuff. Well, and and that's the the whole introvert versus extrovert things. It allowed introverts to assemble their ideas in private, but when it came time to execute them, there was no like in the moment, you know, eye contact making it work. It's like I wrote yeah. this. This is funny. So- yeah. No, uh, and and I think these cards are really funny. We got some hilarious news stories in here, man. We got, like I said, Full House. We got the moon landing. We got Bill Clinton impeached. <laughs> birth of home video. Uh, uh, here we go. Prince dying. Mad cow. <laughs> Survivor. Oh, Classics. Pakistan getting the bomb. So, you know. And O.J. Simpson. <laughs> Penny, uh... Do you have Bill Cosby in there? Is Bill Cosby in there? Oh. We do not. Uh, uh, th- we did pick this one because this is one of my favorite stories, which is in uh, June 5th, 1975, voters in the United Kingdom uh, uh, voted to remain in the European community common market in a sign that voters care greatly about being a member of the greater ah! Europe. Ha! Oh, that's great. Uh, 1975. My, my guess is there's no limit to those kind of stories. Uh, you know, global cooling, biggest scare on the planet. <laughs> uh, there, there's a, there's certainly a, a fair amount of like, well, look at that. In fact, I mean, just like even look at you know uh, some of the stuff with like the impeachment. Like you know, if if you look back at uh, stuff like that. So anyway, that's an element of the game. We're we're really. Uh, and this is more my area of, of the game. I'm always obsessed with those kinds of stories of, of just understanding how much <laughs> the, the, the cyclical nature of our world and how nothing is new. So uh, what's the age range? Like, where does it start? Uh, family being- friendly. Uh, oh, this great. is the, this demo is family friendly. In fact, I will say that uh, one of the earliest signs of confidence that I had in this format was playing a little sample round with your daughter Josie. Oh. Uh, 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 it actually changed the way that I was writing the game because initially a lot of the stories were trashy kind of like uh, Florida man sort of stories, right? Uh-huh. There was a lot of like news of the weird and uh, stuff like that. And the thing that made me change it was I was there in Austin and uh, Josie played uh, the moon landing card but like put a bunch of like you know little kid kind of stuff like you know slipped on a you know banana peel <laughs> like next yeah. to it and it's like oh that's it we just want to we don't want to make weirder florida man stories cuz they're already really weird we want to take all the stories that everybody knows and florida man them up you know oh, and, yeah. uh, and and so that basically became the basis of the game, but but Josie gets a uh, a huge a huge credit for uh, from from the mouth of babes. Aww, that's so awesome. to back out from the meta level because we have a lot of people. Um, you and uh, I. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Real, real quick, there will be a, a, a an adults only expansion, so there will be Lorena Bobbitt and and uh, all all <laughs> sorts of dicks and farts and shits. They'll they'll, they'll, they'll be in there. But- uh, I have a question. Yeah. How to get a hold of one of those sweet microphones? Those I'll tell you what. We might be able to figure out a, a way to, uh, to 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 get one of these uh, down there for you. Oh my gosh, those are amazing. I mean, he's using a handheld mic with the the flag. Mm-hmm. It looks great. Action News Network on there and and so on. Um, uh, man, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, oh, I, I was gonna talk about the the meta narrative. Um. Look, if you're somebody who has enjoyed me and Justin and Andrew Maine speaking authentically and honestly about what it's like to be an independent creative in this crazy mixed up 21st century world, uh, you get to actively participate on it by just being a chapter in Justin's part of the story by this Friday. Let's let's blow the the hell up out of action news man it's gonna hit kickstarter let's let's make the whole world turn and notice a really clever timely fun party game and won't it be great for you to be there at the very beginning as as we've uh, of all the things justin that we've ever done i feel i feel like we've uh i've been proudest not that we've been an avalanche, but that we've been the assholes on the top of the mountain kicking the snow 
that caused an avalanche. And- oh, totally. You know, it's it's it has never ceased to amaze me the power of this community and and uh, if anything, it drives me personally to make things that I know you guys will like and know you guys will enjoy because that's the only way that we continue to have this amazing symbiotic relationship where you guys are really excited and I still get to do really rad stuff. Like I know that if this sucks, then then the next time it won't be as big. Right. So we got to keep it going. We got to we, we got to we well, got to keep rocking here. He, here's what I love deeply about it is is the contender was good or is good. It It, it is a genuinely good, yeah, fun game. Yeah. It is my my 13 year old's favorite game. And she constantly is asking us to play. But Action News uh, is so much more approachable. It is timeless. It is perfect in that way. Like uh, uh, we've joked about it being, um, you know, uh, Anchorman, the card game. But it is so much uh, beyond that because my daughter has never heard of Anchorman. So she doesn't even know the post-ironic uh, retro revisiting of yeah. that era. And yet yeah. I am convinced that she will love, love, love this. Well, yeah, uh, I certainly hope so, and and she'll get a chance to play on on Sunday because you'll be bringing the, uh, the 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 demo copy home with you. So uh, so yeah, go ahead and check it out. And I'm really excited for you guys to see uh, just everything that we put together for it. We we spent uh, and by the way, big shout out to everybody. I threw in uh, again the fan made section, the hashtag fan made channel on uh, Discord on the Diamond Club Discord. I threw a gigantic. Uh, a folder of assets that we shot specifically for social media. So we'll be rolling out a lot of that as can, we go along. But uh, can we explore you guys make it do do your worst, do your craziest. Uh, speaking of which, can we explore any of the early entries and any of that? Uh, I, I don't know if you have anything. Rogue. <laughs> Bryce is giving me the stretch signal. Uh, uh, so, so yeah, so basically here's what happened. Cause you know, whenever you launch a, a, a Kickstarter, the idea is number one, pop your core audience. That's the first thing you do. Yep. Right. Second thing is survive the middle of your Kickstarter <laughs> because uh, either you have popped your core audience enough that you are going to barely get to where you want to go and then you better have other things to motivate people to go further uh, or you kind of hit this lull where it is you, you better hope that press comes in to uh to, to kind of keep things going and then you have the end and the end you better hope that you're close to a goal so people will like push 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 because you usually get a push at the end uh but that means that we gotta have stuff for the middle and that's why we did all these silly videos all these silly photos uh that'll be going out on our social media so uh <laughs> god damn god damn okay. look at you motherfuckers Action you guys Nugs look 68. so perfect did uh did John Teasdale actually grow that mustache? He certainly did. We th- those are those are our actual mustaches, uh, uh, <laughs> right there. Uh, 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 that's you and 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 John Meg? and is that Meg or Fawn? That Meg, Meg, Meg Paradise of uh, of of guts and glory. She is our, uh, our our female anchor in in both the video and in all of our our, our media around it. We have some really fun plans for Gen Con too. It, it it may or may not involve renting a white van and and putting decals on it. <laughs> Justin Robert Young loves his new job. That's the headline from Diamond Group News Network. As nugs are are uh, breaking nugs. Justin it, launches his new fetishes. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, there there's there's footage of of me, Fawn, and John. All uh, uh, getting the the blow dryer to the face treatment as we look slowly. A <laughs> uh, lot of me out there on the streets in my in my action news outfit. So uh, so okay. go ahead and 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 check it out. There's a lot of really really funny stuff in there. Hey, real quick. So we've got Nerdtacular right around the corner, and of course Friday is when everybody should you know buy, uh, buy action news. Buy um, action news, yeah. The. Uh, I found out that Cargill, for the first time, is going to Dragon Con. Cool. Yo, he just changed the game. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So I'm wondering, like, I've never, 
I, I guess I've cosplayed a little bit, and Bonnie's cosplayed a little bit. Have you? Have you ever? Have you? Uh, have you gone to a con like like a Dragon Con level thing with Cargill before? No, no. Uh, See, Car- me neither. But I've seen him go to plenty of cons, and he's always just talking about the kind of shit that I like to do at cons. You have you've just blown my mind, man. I'm so excited. That's what I'm I, saying. I, uh, and 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 of course I asked like, will you be on Night Attack? And he was just like, yeah. Dot, dot, dot. As long as it doesn't conflict with whatever I'm already obligated for. <laughs> so so hopefully that'll work out. But it's like, uh, dude, I, I, the moment he, told, he said that, I was like, dude, just promise me I could be in the room with you when you experience. Uh, is it the Sheraton that looks like the Starship Enterprise? Mar- uh, Marriott. Marriott. The, the, the Marriott. The Sheraton is. Uh... Oh, is the ghetto. Yeah, no, that's the garbage one. Yeah. yeah. In the ghetto. So, um, okay, Bonnie left. She doesn't know we're talking. Anybody who's listening, don't tell Bonnie. Whatever. Yeah. Let's talk yeah. cosplay. So you're going to cheat on Bonnie. Okay, yeah, no. You're going to uh, fuck another woman. Uh, yes. You're going to okay. get some, yes. some That's good. real All right. trim. All right. All right. I have All right. never clip that. Post. Clip okay. that right now and, and just say Brian and okay. Vince is by, by the way, by the way, by the way, like nobody fucking tell Bonnie on Twitter, nobody, like, this is for real serious. Like, if you're a fan, shut the fuck up and keep this between us, okay? Shut up. Wait, hold on, Brian. I'll tell, I'll, 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 I'll lay it on him. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> Thank you, uh, butthole of whoever it was that had the butthole before. Corey something. Um, Corey, Mills. Mills. Corey Mills. Corey Mills. Oh. Corey Mills' butthole, please shut Corey. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it. Corey Mills' butthole. Shush, <gasps> shush, 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 shush. Right. Okay, here's what I want to do. Um, Bonnie and I had... Uh, uh-huh. Bonnie did not cosplay at Dragon Con because she didn't get to go last year. But we had decided that if we were going to go, we were going to cosplay as Jamie and Cersei Lannister and make out in front of everyone and gross everybody out. I thought that was an amazing idea. Sure. Problem is, Bonnie, need a Bonnie. Bonnie does not naturally look like Cersei Lannister. Also true. Although I do totally look like Jamie Lannister. You sure. Can. Yeah. You no, I you. would. I Thank would you. Certainly Thank say, you. I, I know who my friends are now. That was the test. You failed, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That. That's definitely where the biggest gulf lies. Is. 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 Uh, a, a middle-aged mother uh, playing middle-aged mother and not Adonis God uh, and uh, magician Brian Brushwood. So here's the new thing, right? Yeah. Bonnie, uh, Bonnie, yeah, you've seen Bonnie's haircut, right? She's got like yep, a yep. shorter, middle, yep. medium. How about this? Curly uh, hair. How about this? Uh, number one, Justin, please, 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 you should cosplay as Action News Network man. That would be awesome. I'm sure. deciding that for you. But that should that should be pretty easy. Yeah. Um but Bonnie and I were thinking of trying to go as David and Lenny from Legion. Oh, that's oh. great. That'll be a big one this year too. Would that be great? Would that be great? Yeah, uh, no, no, this no. Time. that's me trying to uh, force it. No, it I'll tell you what. No, now all I'm thinking of is how I can get an angriest boy in the world costume going. Oh my god, that'd be amazing! Wait, can we uh, can we figure out a way to all go as Legion and like match? We, we uh, could. Patrick uh, Delahanty says he has not seen Legion. Also, in unrelated news, I'm no longer friends with Patrick Delahanty. Legion's good. Go see Legion. Yeah. Wow. Legion, uh, Legion's good stuff. Uh, uh, I, I, I think it, it will also fill. That's a perfect Dragon Con costume. Right. Because is the look twice costume of like. Because like you're gonna be in clothes, right? It's right. Not- well, I, I I figure we'll be in we'll be in brown uh, uh, jogging suits with oh, with ridiculous oh, you do lapels. The, the, the thing, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, right, gotcha. and 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 Bonnie Bonnie will have uh, the, big, the big earphones, uh, earphones sure, on sure, there, sure, sure. you know, and she'll she'll be listening all the time, right? And I'll be all like, oh my god, I can't believe am am I me? What's going on? Yeah, uh-huh. I don't know. That's a good <laughs> idea. That's a great. Uh, that's a great description of Legion. 
<laughs> and I was like, if I react too big I'm to this, I'm trying to make it spoiler, it spoiler free. Right? Yeah. <laughs> So, oh, by the way, your description of Legion was an actual description of Garden State, the <laughs> Zach Braff film. <laughs> oh, man. Android uh, 746 in the DCTV chat does say, if you be, if you guys are Jamie and Cersei, yeah. we get the shame nun back. Oh, my God. We should leave. That's a good idea. Dude, if, if, if we can hire the shame nun to follow us, like, everywhere. Like, we're at the subway. That would be great. We're, like, we're at the subway ordering, like, more bell peppers. Ding, 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 ding. You shame. understand? You understand ding, that? Ding. Oh, my God. Wait. Uh, e. Clay Thompson says I should go as Jermaine Clement. Oh, my God. Oh, would, shit. Go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You'd be good in that. Can, can you please? Can you please? Can you please? Uh, it'll involve me buying another weird vintage suit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that could be pretty huge. Uh, okay, um, let's consider the idea. Let's sketch out, again, just feeling it out, feeling it out. What if all of Diamond Club Chat Realm was Legion? If, if you don't know what to be, just be a jack-booted thug, right? Because we got that. Okay. We got to figure somebody older to be. All right. Uh, this seems like prime after show discussion. Okay. All right. Uh, well, yeah, uh, no, think about being call. a Legion character. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. So here's uh, the action items, uh, fellow citizens. On Friday, you are going to kickstart action news. Uh, you can find that on uh, uh, Kickstarter. Just go ahead and search for The Contender. Follow that account, and uh, uh, it will be the first place to go. Man, look at that box, though. Holy it's shit! It's such a right? good box. The good use of it's a good use of color and the the very like classic style. The classic like it is without treatment. a doubt my second favorite box. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping Bonnie would be around for that line. So yeah. there we go. Uh, uh, another than that, we will see you guys all at Nerdtacular again. No. L- there will be a show in which we record live, and we will be in the same place, but it will not be recorded on Tuesday. It'll be recorded on Friday. You guys will get that stream live. According to them, they are streaming Earthing, so uh, uh, hopefully that will go out to you as well as the one-man show. And uh, anything else, Brian? Anything else on the radar? Uh, yeah, a little thing called Diamond Time. Diamond Time is the oh, moment gosh. that we get to shout out your <laughs> projects live here on Night Attack. Just head on over to diamondclub.reddit.com. You'll find a sticky post right up there, right in your face. And the first item comes from Justin Robert Young, who says, Hey, everybody, I'm a fan of Diamond Club. Also, I'm the co-host of Night Attack. Also, I would never forget the format of the show, but most importantly, I want you to know that Action News is coming out this Friday. By the way, my name is Justin Robert Young. Wait, you can't just read the first fucking Diamond Time for me? Nope! To game pieces. <laughs> Ironically, the first Diamond Time is already outdated. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let me go to the first one. BioCow says, PSA, did you know that a free trial of PlayStation View no, no, or did direct... Did you sign up? Did or, you oh, sign did, up? Did you sign up for a free... <laughs> trial of PlayStation View or DirecTV to watch Scam School the show on the Science Channel. Won't forget. Well, don't forget to cancel it before they charge you for it. I say don't cancel it. I say keep it forever because who knows? Wouldn't it be great if Scam School was a TV show? <laughs> uh, hey, by the way, uh, congratulations on that on on you guys uh, seeing the show and and for everybody who. Put it together. By, uh, by the way, th- thank you to everybody who tuned in live to watch our silly watch party. Uh, Bryce, were, were you? I, I didn't have your guidance or direction for the live stream, mm-hmm. so I took the feed and made it very, very you askew in the very corner. Much. Yeah, was, was, was that okay? Just, or that's fine. Okay. It, it was so much so. It was kind of funny because it made it look like the way Penny was sitting that she was looking Which, at was it. Was looking. That's what I was going yeah. for is uh, to I, make it look like she was looking I, at it. I screen. also did a stream later that day of Director's Nesh commentary of the, the episodes. That's up on the BBPedia Videos YouTube channel. Awesome. And it's an hour long and you get to see the little you see a little icon to follow along if you've got a DVR recording. Uh, and it's all about some of the technical stuff. So if you're interested in that, 
Check that out, youtube.com slash bbpedia uh, videos. regardless, man, uh, this was a lifetime dream come true. Like that moment when we got to the end and the credits rolled and I saw all the names of all our friends and realized that together we quietly made a actual goddamn television show. That's amazing. pretty fucking great. I mean, again, I, I really don't, I don't want to let this pass just because it is extraordinary. There are plenty of people that we know that get television shows, including Brian, by way of the normal pathway. You go usually to LA or LA comes to you. They talk to you, they love you, they pitch you to a few things. Next thing you know, they are creating, they are hiring directors, they are editing, they have final say. It is extraordinarily rare. In fact, it is the domain of only the people who have the utmost control of their destiny that in house, they edit something that goes on cable television. So. Big, big, big hats off to to all of you guys again. Yeah. Thank you so, so uh, much. And also a big uh, thank you to Baba Nobaka. Baka Nobaka, who says, Greetings, Diamond Glove. My buddy and I started a trivia podcast exploring niche TV and movie fan bases and the crazy awesome shit they do to create and express their fandom. But first we had to understand that thing they love. We take turns binge watching something that the other has seen and square off in 20 trivia question bloodbath to determine who can be the better fan. The winner picks up uh, for the next week and gets bragging rights. The loser has to hang his head in shame. We call it the Fan Cram Showdown. This show is hot. So you don't want to be the loser at work standing around the water cooler that doesn't know what the hell everyone else is talking about. You can find the audio version of the podcast on iTunes or go to bit.ly slash fancram live to watch the video uh, of both the show and the after show. Thank you. Baka no baka. Uh, meanwhile, SD Wise writes, Yellow Diamond Club. I'm a podcaster with no audience. Would like to change that fact. I've been doing the show off and on for the last three years, and I've recently, in the last few months, been doing the show Dino Files every week in earnest. Along with that, there's an open invitation for people who want a home for their podcast or to start a podcast to come over to uh, AI. Sorry. Arad, that's A-I-R-A-D dot I-O, and join the family. Again, the network is Alternative Internet Radio at YOLO420.com slash Indie Pod Swag. The show is Dino Files, and the support page is Patreon.com slash Dean Wisner or YOLO420.com slash Dean Swag. Thank you. Boom. If you want to uh, go ahead and submit your uh, pitch to Diamond Time, then go ahead and do it right there at the top of the Diamond Club subreddit. That is reddit.com slash r slash Diamond Club or diamondclub.reddit.com. Big old sticky green post right up there at the top. In the meantime, let's check in on the Movie Draft Minute. Welcome to your Movie Draft Minute presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of June 26th. 2017. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. Yo, man, we gotta talk, seriously. Who do you think you are? Clint Eastwood? Dirty Rosewood? Let's go check this corporate. Team Corklers is in 6th place, $120.2 million. Team Big and Tall is in 5th place, $190.4 million. Team Frog Pants is in 4th place, $143 million. Team Scott Gross is in 3rd place. The Transformers last night bring in $73.1 million to bring their total to $290.8 million. Team Nitac is in 2nd place with $541.5 million. And in 1st place, the whopping $657.4 million. It's Team DTNS. And that is your Move Drive Minute for the week of June 26th. 2017. Hey. So, number one, let's talk about our friends, the Scotch Bros, and their uh, supernatural. Hey, uh, uh, in fact, uh, uh, I'm sending one of the Scotch Bros. Uh, uh, I actually, I should send one to, to Jason, too. But uh, the, the one that is going <laughs> Boy, to. Boy, I wonder the... who the first one was. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm telling you, it's to uh, uh, Chips Robert Cargill. Uh, I finally <laughs> figured out what the C stands for. <laughs> uh, dude, uh, Cargill was saying today, like, holy crap, man, we picked all the biggest losers. Uh, what was interesting <laughs> is that he explained part of their justification was to all go with one studio, thinking that it was unlikely that one studio would lay all the biggest eggs. 
Uh, but it turns out they did. Turns out they figured it out. It was paramount. Uh, uh, that is a very that's a very interesting uh, strategy. I I would have never thought to say yeah no one studio uh, you well, know they can't shit all the beds. Turns out they can. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's that's what I said. Uh, uh, me. Although if you look at Big and Tall. Uh, you have been the one saying don't count out big and tall and very good news for uh, for, for their last two movies, the remaining two movies, both Spider-Man Homecoming and War for the Planet of the Apes getting really, really, really good reviews, at least pre embargo going up. People are saying that War of the Planet of the Apes is going to be f just fucking amazing. Like, I am super stoked about it. I mean, I heard like. Uh, returns your re re like returns faith to the studio filmmaking system that it's well, like almost wordless and a masterpiece. Well, and plus also keep in mind um, the the reboot of Planet of the Apes saga has very very quietly like like nobody um, Planet of the Apes is like one of those sagas like Avatar where it did well enough but yet nobody ever talks about it which is weird. Um, like quietly, the first two movies, uh, was it rise? And what was the one, the other one, birth of the, I don't know, birth of a nation. Yeah. It was birth of a nation. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Whatever. The birth first of the nation of a planet of the oh. apes. <laughs> birth of the nation of the planet of the apes. Um, I was going to say, please do not combine those. Two. <laughs> <laughs> too late, sucker. Um, no, I, I'm telling you, like the first two movies were good. But if this one is extraordinary, it's it's got one of those rubber band slingshot effects where it's like quietly. What if what if this was the greatest sci-fi series anthology of our lifetime? I mean, I feel like that's the problem, though, is that ultimately it doesn't have a star. And yet everybody who has seen those movies knows that Andy Serkis is a star of that movie. Right. And and they've never really pushed him. As a like uh, to me, he should have gotten an Oscar nomination for Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And if this is as good as it is, he should get one for this one. I mean, like his it's his so on hard to do. his ongoing. Uh, let me put it this way: not not his ongoing snubbing, but but the the Academy's ongoing snubbing of the talents of physical actors that are used in digital. Like, uh, you know, of course, the biggest example is is when uh, Avatar came out, like just everybody just chip bombed it. Like, yeah, like, uh, ah, we're we're actors. We're take our chairs. Yes, exactly. Right. Uh, wouldn't it be great if this was the transformative well, success like, story? It. We just got to build a wall to stop all the CGI <laughs> characters from coming in. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um. I don't know. I'm I'm I I am really really excited about this. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm. I hope both of them are really good. I hope both of them make a lot of money. I hope that they are among the best movies of the summer. Uh, but can I tell you something that I feel we were so early on? Mm -hmm. Booty hole. Not only have we been talking about it all episode, but literally that scene from the girls' night trailer. They have obviously gotten the, the 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 initial reviews and their test screenings are in. That one scene of her saying you can't get an infection in your booty hole, it's a booty hole, must have tested extraordinarily well <laughs> because it is in the prominent position of all girls trip marketing. In fact, there's one that I saw today that was like you all have like, you know, the friends and it's like the ones that will fight for you. And it's a girl punching another girl like uh, the, the ones that will always be there for you. And she's like hugging her and they're like the ones that will make you laugh. And it's just that scene. No context. Just her going booty hole. And that's it. <laughs> like, it's just the clip of her saying booty hole. I mean, they're not wrong. It is funny to say booty hole, right? <laughs> it's really funny. And so that's why Girls Trip is going to render all of this malarkey obsolete. It's going to make $150 million. Right. We are going to win the movie draft. I guarantee it. If Brian, if, if, if we do not win it, 
you got to put that cyst back in your hand. <laughs> no! Uh, oh, God damn it. Um, I had questions, but I forgot it. I guess we're out of time. Um, Did you have other questions that you wanted to, you wanted to bring to the class? No, I forgot them all. But uh, I'll tell you what I did remember oh, no. is that... Uh, Man, there's something magical about Tuesday nights. You and me set aside our independent worries. For our, yeah. Do you realize we're creeping up on a 10-year anniversary? That's going to be a thing. Wow. A 10-year anniversary. I, I yeah. Damn, we got to do something. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Diamond Con should be a thing after all. <laughs> maybe so. I'll tell you what. Let's all promise about it, and then we'll all dress up as Legion when it happens. That <laughs> works for me, man. Hey, uh, don't forget to catch Mike TV live when he appears at Nerdtacular in uh, yes. a scant 48 hours or so. Uh, absolutely. And uh, thank you to everybody in advance for coming out to Nerdtacular. We are going to have a fantastic time. And again, Action news, kickstarting on Friday. Go ahead and follow me, Justin R. Young, to make sure you get it. Sist you next Tuesday. Die in a fire. Okay. Stop, butthole. Stop talking. No one knows. I love you. Woo! Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>